We have turned the sod for about three hotels. We are finalizing uh, maybe another four. I know Dr. Peter Ramsroop is working aggressively on this. The construction phase in that industry itself has already generated hundreds of jobs. By the time we get to the end of the year, that will go to thousands. The housing program itself has already engaged thousands of Guyanese. The sugar industry, new investments coming in. Let me give you the example. <clears throat> A survey recently showed that daily we had 1,100 trucks moving from Sous Dyke along the East Bank with sand. That is close to 24,000 tons of sand every day. Each of those trucks would have, at a minimum, a laborer and a driver. You then have mechanics that have to support those trucks. And this is just one sector. When it came into government, more than 70% of the mining sector was done and out. Today, more than 70% of the mining sector is back in operation. All of this is creating jobs for people. The vibrancy in the private sector, the investment that the private sector is making, the new shore-based facilities will open up opportunities for thousands of people. The new hotels, at a minimum, with the plans that we are seeing, will need about 3,000 persons by the time you get up to, year, uh, to the end of 2023, permanently to service the needs of those hotels. So, the push to create jobs is not, has not only commenced, but is gaining rapid momentum. And we are going to add to this the new highways that we're going to build, the new canals. And when you want to, if you want to understand what is taking place and how the economy is moving, try to call MACORP. Try to call these agencies that sell heavy equipment like excavators. You'll be shocked to know that you have to wait six and seven months. And all of this is happening in the context of a global economy that is suffering from rapid increases and we are being affected because we import the inflation. Rapid increase in logistic costs, transportation costs, manufacturing facilities were out of operation. They're now coming back on stream and that too that too is faced with great difficulty because of the Delta strain that has once again sent back industries shutting their doors. It is not an easy environment, yet we have made so many advances. And this is not about the PEP Civic, this is about us as a people. <clears throat> understanding and appreciating the advances that we have made and working together to even move faster ahead with the development of our country. <clears throat>